Hey everyone, quick update on the Cub Cadet of 1641. I was able to make out the numbers on the hood. Once I was able to wash it a little bit, the uh, writing came out a little bit better. But I've got this machine now running on its own. It will run off the fuel in the tank. I've actually since drained the tank. I'm gonna be putting 100% uh, fresh gas back in there and it should be good to go on that aspect. I have the transmission drained, the filter's off. The filter was pretty banged up. I'll show it to you in a second. I have a new filter. Also, they had the wrong fluid in there to my knowledge. The fluid that came out of it was like red ATF. The fluid that needs to go back in here is more clear looking. So I'm thinking they put the wrong fluid in. Hopefully that didn't kill the transmission. That's the biggie right there. If the transmission screwed, I'm not continuing. Um, I'm not putting a transmission in this machine. This machine will be parted out. All four tires are good. The engine runs and the hydraulics, I would assume, all work. The deck is in good shape. Really, the only bad part about this machine is the seat. And there's a small crack in the hood right here. And there's a small crack in the front valance. That's pretty well it. Um, other than that, this machine is in very good condition considering I, how long it was sitting. I really don't know how long it was sitting for. I might ask the neighbor if he's home this weekend and just to get an idea on how long it was sitting. But um, I'll show you the filter that actually came out of this machine. Here it is right here. I did not cause any damage to the filter taking it out. But uh, as you can see, it has a good dent right there. Also, the fan under this machine is uh, completely destroyed other than one fin on it. So, I'm thinking he hit something. It potentially took out the oil filter, uh, or trans filter, whatever you want to call it, the hydraulic filter. It drained that, and everything was gone since gone from there. I have uh, battery cables on order. Unfortunately, due to Amazon changing uh, everything now, I could not return them or could not cancel my order without uh, contacting the seller, and they're not going to be here till the middle of June, which kind of sucks. I could buy different ones and then send them back, but I'll just wait. I've I got ways of uh, starting this machine. Also, I'm waiting on parts for the uh, little four-wheeler as well, and the same deal. The uh, shipping changed as soon as I hit buy it now sort of thing but anyways like I said this machine will start and run it will not start by the key unfortunately the issue I'm having is the hydro lift since the hydro lift is all the way down the uh, it won't allow the key switch to uh, turn over but I can hot wire it and it will start but the key does shut it off I also have a trigger button here this will also work to uh, start the machine as long as I have jumper cables up or vice grips on the battery terminals also work but other than that this machine will start and run next is to refill the hydrostatic drive uh, leave the cardboard underneath it and see where it's leaking and I might end up taking out all this rear uh, rear paneling uh, the fenders the center panel um, take all that out of my way just so I can see if it's something from the transmission side or if it's something up here where the hydro lift is truthfully i don't know i'm hoping for an easy fix the filter but uh wish me luck on that one as well so like i said everything works on this machine including the headlights which is actually kind of nice my other machine has been hacked on and the headlights have been removed and a few other things have been done to it but this machine has stayed relatively stock and relatively factory which is nice so Hopefully I can get it all up and running and make it a halfway decent secondary machine or this will be my primary and the other machine will be just used for blowing snow. I think the way the mule drive is set up on this, my snowblower will unfortunately not fit it and I'm not really in the market for another snowblower. So that might be just the snowblowing tractor and this one might just be the mowing tractor since it does have a few nicer features from the other one. But uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I got to um, get this thing running and driving and make sure there's no leaks in the hydraulics before I can even think about doing anything like that. So I'll talk to you later. Please show redneck like always. And uh, please from comment and thank you for supporting my channel.